Hello everyone, welcome to Vicky Chizzy, episode 2. At the end of episode 1, a man had promised Celia that he would write a letter to his general, asking for leave. Age doesn't matter. True love is all that I care for, he said after the call had ended. Lies do matter, said Celia. I like a man that tells the truth. I love your voice. My email is, she said, and gave him her email. Please send me a copy of the letter when you've written to the official. I will do that, honey, but on email. What did you eat today? But Celia had gone back to work, because there's only so many times a girl can be asked what she's eaten today. Now, I can't stop thinking about you. Sorry, said Celia, I have to work. We're busy today. I was on a late lunch break when you called. OK, honey, stay safe. I'll be thinking about you. Hello again, she said. I'll stop for lunch. Did you send the letter to your general? Because you haven't sent it to me. I haven't yet submitted writing it today. I'm sad. You only chat when you're having lunch, baby. We're really busy at work. I should be able to chat when I get home later today. Waiting to chat? More better. I'm home, she said a bit later, but there's no email from you. I assume you've changed your mind. My mind can't be changed from loving you. Then why haven't you written the letter? I haven't written the letter because an extra charges is included, which I should wait to receive payment before going for leave. I have no idea what that means, Cecilia. Could you write it in passingly sensible English, please, so it means something? I haven't written the letter because I don't have the money to pay for leave after submitting. Don't be ridiculous. All you need is a plane ticket. I need you to be patient for me to receive salary and fix this myself. If you can't afford a plane ticket, what on earth have you been spending your salary on? OK? A hotel project, honey. What? I'm building a hotel property. Then you must have lots of money. Yes, honey. How much does it cost to build a hotel? And where is it? Google, very helpfully, leapt in to help him out. The cost of building a hotel in Los Angeles, California, can vary widely, depending on factors like location, size and amenities. On average... It might range from 200 to $500 per square foot, with total project costs potentially reaching tens of millions of dollars. I'll be able to come after my hotel project is completed, unless I have your support to help pay back. I wasn't asking for Google's opinion. Cecilia, you're the person that's building a hotel. How much is it costing? I never use Google, said the man who presumably been using ChatGPT. Reaching $10 million. ChatGPT then, said Celia. Oh. She beat me to it, apparently. Even you can tell the difference between what chat GPT wrote and the meaningless twaddle you usually write. And how long is that going to take? You said you were going to write to your general. Now you've changed your mind. Goodbye. Don't know what you mean, he said in reply to her saying chat GPT then. Because I'm intelligent. Now till month's end. I never changed my mind. I only want to receive money to proceed from my official leave. R-O-F-L, said Celia. And replied to him saying he was intelligent. Are you seriously telling me you're so intelligent that you can't tell the difference between the semi-literate sentences you write and the proper grammatical sentences that chat GPT wrote for you? I hope that's a joke and you can tell the difference. Two weeks, she said, because he said now till month end. Why do you have to wait so long just to send an email? Is that a joke? In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if you're a joke. All you need to do is email and tell them when you want to take leave. And send me a copy of the email you sent to the general, unless you don't really want to come and are making silly excuses so you don't have to write to him at all. Baby, I'll write the letter today and send you through email. Just hope you'll never hurt me by loving another man. I've been thinking about you lately. Can't hide these feelings any more. OK, thanks, said Celia. How's your today's schedule going out there? Busy. I just stopped for a quick coffee. I'll talk to you when I get home. OK, my baby. Hoping to chat further when you get home. Mwah! I'm home, she said. I haven't had an email from you. I will write it lately and send it to you. Honey, don't be worried. I got you for life. I have a question. OK, what is it? If I write the letter and present proof to you, will you be able to assist in my flight processing and leave fee? I have no idea what you even mean. You're a millionaire, remember? And there's no such thing as a leave fee. You know nothing about the military. Stop being too prideful. 
I know more than you do, it seems, said Celia. Military personnel don't have to pay to take leave. I need money to bribe for leaving when I'm supposed to be at work, said our man, getting the point very quickly. No occupation makes someone pay for leave. That isn't a leave fee, is it? Write the letter first and book your flight. I'm not forcing you to assist. It's actually $7,000, which I need to bribe for urgent leave. In your dreams, pal. I think what you'll start to realise is that this guy is new to scamming. And I don't think he's ever managed to take a large amount of money from anyone and has no idea how to do it. You're the millionaire, remember? Not me. I will write the letter. But if you can't support, then I will tell you to be patient for me to receive payment from the Ukraine government. I don't like arguing with money. OK, write the letter and wait until you're paid. Let love lead. I want to love you until eternity. Why do you have to pay in dollars? That's how we usually pay to the USA account or Belgium. What USA account? Local bank and US dollar transfer is the best because lots of scammers exist in other methods. Why use a USA account? Whose account? Why do you have to pay in dollars? Who are you paying? Please try and say something that makes sense. Well, I'm not hopeful. The USA account belongs to the general. Because of the war, Ukraine banks ain't functioning properly. OK, says the year. What else do you want to know so I can tell you? When you're going to write that letter, what's your general's name? Ramos Gordon. Honey, be patient. Let me get money. Try again, Cecilia. He's meant to be Ukrainian, not Spanish. He's half Ukrainian, half European. OK, just write the letter and send me the copy. Then we can see what he says. Will you be able to support for the accomplishment of my coming after writing the letter? Just write the letter and stop writing nonsense. Otherwise, I think you don't want to come. Remember, it's you that's the millionaire, not me. Your wish is my command. I have a patrol in a few hours. But trust me, tomorrow morning, you'll wake up seeing the letter in your email. Oh, look forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. But don't hold your breath. I love you desperately. Can't stop thinking about you. I doubt it. Cecilia, but miracles sometimes happen. Hope your patrol goes well. Miracle is constant. There's nothing God can't do. Well, apparently there is, because apparently helping him write a letter is one of them. Let's hope he can help you write a letter, Cecilia. I'm an educated person. You'll confirm my handwriting by taking a picture of the letter and send to your email tomorrow morning. Don't just betray me over another man. I hate to be deceived. At this rate, I'll die of old age waiting for your educated person letter. You're going to handwrite it, are you? Seen is believing. Let's not give up on each other's. Indeed, Seen will definitely be believing. I'm so looking forward to reading it. I can't tell you how much I want to see it. I just believe that you'll support me after seeing. Let love lead. I'm waiting, she said. Or did you lie to me? This was the following morning. On it! You'll see proof as soon as possible. Still nothing, said Celia at midday. You lied, didn't you? You aren't going to write a letter. I don't want to come here. I will write the letter very busy at the moment after work, honey. You said I'd have it by this morning. You lied. And if you have time to reply to me here, you have time to write the letter. So I don't believe you anymore. I have my reasons. It's not a must to believe me when you can't help. You lied. End of story, said Celia, copying the bit where he'd said. And sent your email tomorrow morning. You didn't do it. I told you I'm not financially stable, but you keep insisting when you're not ready to help. If agreed, I'll write the letter. OFGS, you're only writing a letter asking for leave. You're a millionaire. Being a millionaire doesn't stop me from paying. And if you can't help, stop forcing me to write a letter. I love you to be my wife, but it's unfortunate that you're not getting me right. Don't act like a baby. Until you write the letter, you don't even know if you can get leave or when you can get it. And I have no intention of helping you. You're the millionaire, not me. You can pay for your own leave. But I don't think you have any intention of coming to see me, do you? And no intention of writing to ask if you can have leave. You don't even know that they'll say yes. You're just making excuses and going back on your promise. That was your promise, she said, copying again where he'd said and sent your email tomorrow morning. You lied. Goodbye. Happy blessed Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Go away. You're a liar and I don't want to talk to you unless you keep your promise. How can I keep to my promise when you're not willing to support? Write a letter. If you can't support, don't pressure me. Only scammers do this. That's all you said you'd do. Write a letter. Will you support if I do? You are the millionaire. Yes.
You are the millionaire. You have lots of money. Unless you write a letter, you don't even know if you can take leave. Write the letter. Keep your promise. I don't have now. Remember, my hotel is at pending mood. Or go away. OK, on Monday, I will do this. But if any money's required, you'll be the one to pay. You said this, she said, copying it again. You said it. You said you're an educated person and I will confirm my handwriting. I'll keep to my promise. You said that and you broke it, so I don't trust you. Yes, I will keep to it on Monday. Then do it. Not begging you to trust me. Seen is believing. If you don't do it, I won't talk to you again. And you can do it now. Just write the letter. It'll only take you ten minutes. Do it now. I will do so. Give me the privilege of tomorrow morning. If you haven't written it within the next hour, I'll not talk to you again and I'll block you. If I failed, then count me as a fool. You have one hour to do it. One hour. It's your choice to block me. I don't force conversation. Like I said, be patient with me for the last time tomorrow morning. OK, the time starts now. Write it in the next hour or go away. Can't write now. I'm with some colleagues. Permit me to do this towards evening by four in UK time. Bollocks, Cecilia. One hour, you've had 59 minutes left. Go ahead and block me if you can't wait until 4pm UK time. Bye. It's a shame, Cecilia, because I would have loved to have seen the letter. 58 minutes left. Can't write now. I'm holding my gun. You should be learning to understand how military work is. Goodbye if you can't wait till 4 in the evening UK time. Bye. Oh, FGS, how on earth are you typing if you're holding a gun? That's the biggest lie of all. Are you just a pathological liar? That's the most ridiculous excuse I've ever heard. 49 minutes left. And if we agree on 4pm UK time, I said, because I thought I might relent, I guarantee that's another lie and you don't do it. Because obviously he was looking for a colleague who could write. I'm using a voice keyboard. I will do it. God knows. I'm not interested in what God knows. I want to see real earthly evidence. You have five hours to find someone who couldn't handwrite a letter for you. Seen is believing. Wait until 4pm UK time today. I will never fail. You've already failed once. Not anymore. I hope not. We'll see. Yes, baby. And if I may ask, ain't you going to church today? So sad that you don't worship God on Sunday. Let me guess, you're in church holding your gun because you're such a devout Christian. I worship online. It's rare to find churches opening on Sundays. Don't be ridiculous, that's the day when all churches open. I don't go to church, only worship online. What are you preparing for meal? So sad that you don't worship God in church on Sunday, Cecilia. Food, what are you preparing? And if you have time to stop and chat, why aren't you writing that letter? Can't find a mate who can write? I don't share my personal information with friends. They're so discouraging. By four, it will be done by me. You have four hours left to do it. OK, my queen. Celia came back at almost five o'clock. And this is what she found. I've sent it to your email. Check and let me know, honey. Now it's 4.43pm in UK. Where are you? Awesome, said Celia. I'm impressed. You managed it. Because... Over on the email, this is what he'd sent her. Sunday, August the 18th, 2024. Dear General Gordon, I'm writing to inform and request an official leave of absence from my duty for a period of time, being eight weeks. The purpose of this leave is to attend a vacation in present of my fiancé, Celia. I have taken steps to ensure that my duties will be covered during my absence three exclamation marks i kindly request your approval for this leave i'm available to discuss any details or provide additional information as needed thanks for considering my request and he signed it let me know what he says now my trust is earned i hope you'll never cheat on me for another woman man man i'm scared of losing you for another soul did you leave it on his desk so he can read it tomorrow? I gave it to him personally. He asked what I said. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand that, said Celia. I'm explaining my reaction after giving the general letter of leave. I hope you saw the letter. So Celia copied where she'd said, awesome, I'm impressed. You managed it. No, you aren't, she said, in reply to him saying he was explaining his reaction. You said your general asked what I said. I'm sorry. Why was your general sorry? I'm the one who said sorry when he sees the letter. That isn't what you said. 
Why are you sorry? You did say you're intelligent. I assume you know how to use basic punctuation. I assume you know what punctuation means. To God be the glory. My general told me he will look into it tomorrow, being Monday. That's good. Let me know what he says. Will he write you a letter? Yes, but on printed sheet, not pen. Believe me, I will never give up on you. Oh my, Cecilia, he's a grown-up with a printer. How impressive. Scene is believing. I took the first step, but so sad you didn't compliment the letter I wrote. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, Cecilia. Did you want marks out of ten for your handwriting? Was teacher horrible to you when you were a little boy learning to write? Yes, I love to be appreciated. No, it's a God-gifted carrier. Rate my writing, LOLs. What is a God-gifted carrier? Oh, we're going to use that one later in this video if we can. My handwriting. Yes, what does it mean? I've never heard handwriting referred to as God-gifted carrier. Rating your writing, LOLs, she said, copying what he'd said. So she screenshotted, Dear General Gordon, if you're not looking at the screen, Dear and General, but in uppercase, so was the G of Gordon, the rest was in lowercase. Random use of uppercase and lowercase letters, said Celia, 2 out of 10. He'd misspelt writing and put writing, and that word that I really don't know whether it was meant to be pleasant, but I think it was meant to be present, Spelling, she said, three out of ten. She copied the three exclamation marks at the end of his sentence. Childish use of excessive exclamation marks, one out of ten. She copied where he'd put a line break between two paragraphs. Use of paragraphs, she said, eight out of ten. And then she copied where he'd signed it. You remembered to sign it, ten out of ten, she added. Thanks for your love. I so much appreciate this feeling. Honey, I will never give up on you. I promise to make you my wife. Good morning. We're still busy at work, but I just finished a Zoom meeting, so I'm just taking a short break and having a coffee and a bun. Will General Gordon write to you today, do you think? By the way, what is NFT Community Programme? And she said that because the name on the email that he'd sent her with his letter attached was NFT Community Programme. The email was NFT Community Programme 1 at gmail.com. NFT, as far as I'm aware, is a non-fungible token, which tells me that this man is part of a team that also try and pull cryptocurrency scams. NFT is my private email. I hope so, he said, in reply to her saying, well, the general write today. But details of whatever he said will be forwarded to you. Yes. But what is NFT Community Programme? I don't like talking about that. It's an investment stuff I earn money from, said our man, realising what had happened. Oh, OK. Bitcoin, USDT, ETH, NFT. I don't even know what that means, Cecilia. Well, I do. And it's rubbish, isn't it? Bitcoin, US dollar and Ethereum aren't NFTs, are they? Read from Google, he said. Read what? I just said. Bitcoin, USD and Ethereum aren't NFTs, are they? Maybe you should read from Google and don't be rude. They ain't. I love you. Don't want to argue. It's Monday morning. Awesome. Then don't be rude. Tell me when you've heard from the general. I have to go back to work. Please stay safe, my angel. I will text you later. I'm home now. Did you hear anything yet? Yes, I had a good news. Awesome. Cecilia, any chance of sharing or are you planning to keep it to yourself? He said to me that details of my vacation will be given to me as soon as possible. I miss you. I can't wait to cuddle you. That's good news, Cecilia. Yes, baby. God is working for our togetherness. Why are you able to ask for eight weeks? What's your annual vacation allowance? We get five weeks. Because I want to spend time and build a solid relationship with you. Are you saying you only get five weeks vacation? I think that's what she's just told you, pal. Yes, how much do you get? We will discuss in person. Don't forget I'm coming to you. You can tell me now. I told you. I don't like talking about money. What else does that have to do with money? I asked how much annual vacation you get. They don't pay for vacation. And how about you? Said our man, frantically trying to change the subject because he had absolutely no idea. Oh, FGS, I didn't ask if you pay for vacation. Can you read? I asked how much annual vacation you get. 
Do I need to space out the words to make it easier to read? I'm beginning to think you can't read. I do hope I'm wrong. Let's focus on letter. I already wrote stop riding too fast. I asked how much annual vacation you get. It's a really, really, really simple question. One that anyone anywhere who has a job would be able to answer immediately. Do you have a job? Or are you just telling me stories? Eight weeks, he finally said. Is everything okay? Why'd you ask? I could ask you the same question. Why did I have to ask you so many times before you gave me a proper answer? Never mind. I do mind. And I had to ask you five times. We'll see what you think if I make you ask me a question five times. I look forward to meet you in person and make you... <coughs> what? replied Celia. Are you smoking something you shouldn't be? I don't smoke. I'm saying this from my heart. You shouldn't be scared of that. We can sexually make everything right. Where are you, my queen? I'm at work and I just stopped for lunch. Oh, I was thinking you're texting with another man, not knowing you were busy at work. What? replied Celia. Read carefully, you're an administrator. I don't want to loose you sincerely. Read what carefully? It's you that should be texting with another man. Your general. But my general is sigh of money for my vacation to be approved. WTF, I'm not happy, honey. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, said Celia. Please try again. It means my general told me $7,000 is needed to approve my request for a leave. How do we go about this? I don't know. You're the millionaire. Write him a check. I'm broke at this point. Remember, my hotel isn't processing. I don't know what that means either. Why can't you write anything that makes sense? It would be nice if you did. But then again, it would kind of spoil the video, really, wouldn't it? Because then we'd know what he's talking about. Well, I'm saying there's no money on me right now, baby. When do you get paid? I'm in depth. No payments now, honey. I need your support. Please write something that makes sense. When do you get paid? Yes, you need to learn to read and write properly, she said. Reply to him saying he needed her support. I don't have any payments expectations for now. If you want me, definitely your support. That's poppycock, said Celia, who's being very careful with her insults. The army pay you every month, so I'll assume you mean the 1st of September. No, if you ain't drunk, stop arguing when you don't have any idea. If you ain't drunk, stop typing poppycock. I assume what you're saying is that you've spent all your money. You lied about being a millionaire. There is no hotel and you want me to lend you some money. I need your help this time. Believe me, I will pay back when I get funds. What do you want me to do then? Said Celia, who decided she'd had enough of him when we just needed to end this. Financial support is all I need you to do. Yes, but unless you tell me what to do, I can't help you. Should I put the money in a box and send it up the chimney for Father Christmas to find? You can send money through bank transfer. OK, if you give me your bank account details, I'll send it to you. Did your general send you the type to reply? But there's an available Belgium account you can send to. My general told me to pay and every details will be given to me. Can you send money to Belgium? Can I see the letter from your general, please? The letter is not yet released. What on earth does that mean? You mean he hasn't sent it to you yet? I'm not sending anything until I can see that letter for confirmation. Despite not having received the letter, magically he did have the payment details. So he gave her the name and bank account details of a money mule in Belgium. Sadly, it wasn't one I could report because it was through something called WISE and they don't seem to be contactable. That's a Belgium account you can transfer to. It's the account we normally pay dues to. Yes, honey. I'm not sending anything until I can see the general's letter. Remember, this is what you said. I hope so, but details of whatever he said will be forwarded to you. OK, tomorrow I will do so. I will not allow the general to rest. Which bank does that account belong to, please? Said Celia, who hadn't realised that WISE was some kind of payment system. Due to the war, too many banks don't operate, so we're permitted to pay into the Belgium account. That wasn't the question, said Celia, but I didn't expect an answer. I'll wait until the general sends you that letter. If I send you the general letter tomorrow, will you send money to the Belgium account for me to meet in person as soon as possible? If I'm satisfied, that's what he asked for. OK, tomorrow I must make sure the general gives me this letter. I need to be with you, honey. I know you do, said Celia. Truthfully, I can't access my account here in military, otherwise I would have paid. I'm sure you would, said Celia, but I'm counting on you and definitely I will make sure to send the general respond tomorrow.
That's good, Cecilia. I'm counting on you to definitely send it. I will keep to my words. I hope so. I hope you'll do the same too after sending it tomorrow. Oh yes, I will stick to my words every bit as much as you have already done. Okay, baby. Have you eaten? What a very West African thing to say. Have you? LOL. Stop making me to catch fun. Did you already eat? I'm not perfect. Stop judging me, honey. What do you think, Cecilia? It's 8pm. I'm not interested in having a year six level conversation. I need to do some cleaning. Stop being rude. Well, it's up to you. So if he understood year six levels, Celia might stick with that one because that seems to pass the Facebook filter. Tomorrow, when you see the proof from my general, you will not talk this rubbish. I'd like to think you'd also stop typing rubbish, but I doubt it. If you're here to insult me, bye for now. I don't have time for this. Make sure you take good care of yourself. Not an insult, Cecilia. You barely typed a single sentence that makes sense. So she copied a few. I'm in depth, no payment now, honey. Doesn't mean anything. Text later. I'm going for a patrol now. Make sure to stay safe. I love you to the moon and back. She copied some more. No, it's a God-gifted carrier. Also meaningless. I'm a recruiter, not teacher. I'm the one who said sorry when he sees the later. Also didn't mean anything. And she copied, I'm a recruiter, not teacher. Also meaningless. You aren't a recruiter. So it isn't an insult to say you barely type anything that makes sense. It's being honest and truthful. I'm sorry if you find honesty and truthfulness insulting. Tomorrow I will send the proof from my general. Bye for now. I hope so. Goodbye. I just noticed my keyboard typed wrongly. Sorry, my dearest. Everything will be okay. I'm sure it will, said Celia the next morning. How was your night all about, honey? He asked. Pardon? Is your keyboard typing wrongly again? You really should take control of it. Use your own fingers. Assert your dominance. Quit judging me. This complaint is too much. OMG! It's hard to answer a question that doesn't mean anything, though. How was your night? He finally managed. I don't know. I was asleep. How was yours? You'll teach me good English when I come. Where did you say you were born and raised? Silly question. We've talked about this quit long. It's not a silly question, and we didn't quit talking about it long, whatever that means. Please remind me where you were born and raised. Or can't you remember? I don't have time for your bullshit. Wait for the general letter or quit texting me now. Why don't you have time to remind me where you're from? It'd be quicker to answer me than to write all that refusal. Or shall I assume you don't remember? A man consulted his pal and remembered. I'm from USA, Oklahoma. Bye for now. Text you later when the general gives me the letter. OK. I've sent it to your email, he announced the next day. The general approval. And this is the letter that he sent her in a stunning bit of copy and paste. A man had managed to copy and paste four different things onto one sheet. General Gordon, I'm writing to formally approve your request for leave from the 1st of the 9th, 2024 to eight weeks. Your leave request has been reviewed and granted in accordance with the relevant regulations and operational requirements. Please ensure that all necessary arrangements are made to cover your responsibilities during your absence and that any required documentation or procedures are completed before your departure. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you for your attention to this matter and for your service. Does that sound to you as if it was written by an army general? Thank you for your attention to this matter and for your service, he repeated. Sincerely, name, Ramon Gordon, position, general, unit stroke, branch, Kiev, Ukraine. And then it was signed. I might do a reverse image search on that signature. And a quick reverse image search. Tells me it's the signature of the footballer, Lionel Messi. I'd had enough of our man by then, so I decided it was time to mess with his head. That's great news, said Celia. So there's no need to pay after all. You can just come here. And why didn't your general sign that letter himself? I'd like to see a real letter, please. Signed by the general. Not one using three different paragraphs, which are clearly copied images pasted onto a page and signed by Lionel Messi. How stupid does your general think I am? How stupid is your general? And how stupid are you to believe that's a real letter? Of course, it's already approved. You can see he's name, Gordon. I understand you're arguing because you can't pay for me to be there. Goodbye. This is your fear, he said, in reply to her saying, so there's no need to pay after all. Greed or poverty? Ooh, greed on your part, maybe, pal? Goodbye, said Celia, who'd had enough of him by then. You're ghosted. Feel free to talk to yourself. But in fact, 
I then blocked him because I really had had enough of him. And so that was the end of Vicky Chizzy. I hope you enjoyed this bit of ridiculousness. If you did, you know what to do. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in another video.